yeah hey it's black guy doing stuff here today and thanks for checking me out here on youtube if you're liking my videos go ahead and hit subscribe there and like really would appreciate it uh today we are going to talk about just really quick a this is really fascinating what's going on right now in washington dc and i can't say i did predict it but it was kind of in you know people have mentioned it uh, but the first thing to kind of lead into what's going on is Bernie Sanders introduced a single-payer health care bill. And this bill would levy, levy a 2.2% tax on just regular working people, a 6.2% tax on um, wealthier people. I don't know the exact cutoff, what he means by wealthier people, but I'm guessing like $500,000 or more. Now think about that. Single payer is basically you get health care if you're working. You just you get Medicare. You just walk into the doctor and you pay, and then you you're done, and you just pay a little bit every month out of your paycheck, and then that's that's all you got to do. Uh, no copays, none of all this monthly extra payments, none of this medication payments, none of this. You just go to the doctor, get what you need, and then there you go. It works all around the rest of the world. Now think about that, a 2.2% tax for working people. So for every $100, that's $2.20. Up to a $1,000 paycheck, you get a $22, it costs $22, 2000 be 44 And if you get a $3,000 paycheck, which a lot of people do, that's like a good middle class paycheck, $3,000 every two weeks or so, then you're going to be just paying about $66 a month, probably coming out to about $70 a month for health care, all your health care. And the way, why this works is because it's such a giant pool. If you have, you know, 150 million people paying $70 a month, that gets up into the billions really fast. So, and then... And th that's just every month. So then you start compounding that month one, month two, month three. It really builds up to be a lot of money, and you can't get sick enough to use up all that money. And plus, if you have preventative medicine, if you have single payer, when you're r first sick or your foot hurts or you got a little pain, and you g everybody gets their physical, so all the medical costs go down because everybody's healthier. So what this bill will do is it will put everybody in Medicare so the first year everybody 55 and older gets in it second year a and everybody 0 to 18 would be in, uh, in it then that sort of stabilize it and then the next year they start rolling everybody in over the next four years and then after five years so would that be 2022 we we'll have Medicare for all now here's why this is fascinating now, there's apparently 15 Democrats signed on to this. Now, before, now Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are not signed on to this, surprising, but they might eventually. But what's so crazy about this is Trump used to be a Democrat. And there are times where you see him talk, he has said things about cover everybody and single payer. And Trump is not, I mean, everybody thinks Trump is a dummy, and he is sort of in some ways socially awkward and doesn't really know what's going on. But he's been to Europe enough to know that the single payer and all that stuff works. You know, he, he, he's he been around. He knows. And why this is fascinating is because the Democrats right now are really buddying up to Trump. Look at what they did today. They, they're talking about they had this deal they're going to cut for this um, the DREAM Act. And what the Democrats have figured out is that Donald Trump really wants to be praised. Donald Trump apparently has something really, really tragic happen to him, probably seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Uh, his brother did die around that time. His brother was an alcoholic, apparently brought on by his insanity of his dad. His dad was a slumlord. Look it up, Woody Guthrie. Such a bad slumlord that Woody Guthrie, traveling around the United States, picked up on Trump's dad being a slumlord and wrote a song about him. Look it up on YouTube. So something happened bad enough to Trump right around that age that he's sort of stuck in that that mindset right there where praise and, hey, make me feel good, pat me on the head. And you, got, you know, you have to dislike Trump for pretty much everything. But 
B, you know, you st- you have to have sometimes compassion for people like that because it's obvious that something because he's so sort of stuck in that juvenile mindset that it is apparent that something very shocking and tragic happened to him when he was a kid. So, but anyway, the Democrats have figured this out. And so they have been buddying up to Trump. And meanwhile, while the Republicans are trying to pull their crap, well, they slam you up against the wall and then they just, they won't let you go until you just wiggle out of it or you give them what they want. Trump's not playing that game. Trump's saying, oh, wow, I like these good headlines about um, he cut a deal with the debt ceiling. He's like, I like this stuff. And that's another video I'll do here in a minute about how he undercut Jeff Sessions' war on cannabis. But um, he he likes all the headlines. So the Democrats are buddying up to him right now with this DREAM Act and some border security. And at the same time, Bernie Sanders puts out this single payer and if Trump gets wind of this thing, I mean, I don't think he'll do it because it's Bernie. But you never can tell. If 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 they buddy up to Trump, just why? Because, again, Trump used to be a Democrat. And there's a rumor out there, sort of this feeling that he, what he did <clears throat> was that he, and he's a showman. you got to give it. You see, I still have this debate whether the bumbling dummy Trump, when you see him out there on stage, I mean, he you see right to him. But he, you, you have to admit, he does have a persona that he put, he portrays out there, and he used to be a Democrat. And I'm just like, what if suddenly Trump flips, and he's like, oh, the Democrats like me better. Man, these Democrats are way nicer than these bleepity bleep Republicans who are mean to everybody, always wanting to whack everybody and take all their stuff. Democrats, they give stuff to people and they get praise, and everybody loves the Democrats. So. And again, you have to remember that most of the country is liberal. Only 63 million people voted for Trump. That is not a lot of people in the United States. The United States is pushing 340, 350 million people right now. Only 63 million people voted for Trump. I personally only know one person who is a rabid Trump supporter, while I know like 50 rabid Bernie supporters. And that's not just in Washington. In the South... You know, I know people who voted for Trump, lots of them, but I don't know any, like, bang, like, go hit the protest out with the sign Trumpers down south. I don't know. Maybe. No, actually, I do. One or two. But it's not a lot of people. So these people, if they can sort of push them out to the side with all their angry stuff, and w- Trump, what if Trump's base shifted? And I'm going to leave you right there with that. But what if Trump flipped it and started doing different stuff? What would the Democrats do? What if Trump did started looking at Bernie Sanders' bill and started passing single payer? What would the Democrats do? What would the people, the resist movement do? It would be so, it would be shocking to do. I know what I would do. I still would oppose Trump. I I would be for his bill, but you know, you got to watch your back with these guys, but, but you still have to oppose Trump. He's done some really shady things in his life, and he's just not a nice guy overall. And he's a creep. Well, look how he acts with his daughter. So, you know. But it is just fascinating what's going on. Bernie Sanders introduced this single-payer bill. So get out there. Call your Congress people if you want to. Um, what's the number? Uh, 202-225-3121, I believe, is the number you can um, call down there. So single-payer. And we could, you never can tell we could have it because Trump is a wind socked. I want to put up on Facebook, hey, what's it feel like to um, elect a wind sock? Because he will just go with the wind. He wants that praise. He wants it. He he wants that pat on the back. And if he can get it with these bills, because it sounds like to me this DACA thing's coming. And what if on down the line next year he still some, comes along with this single payer? Let's repeal and replace with single payer. So, yeah, I'm the black guy doing stuff. Please hit like on my pay, on my video here and subscribe. We'll be doing more of these. I'm trying to put about three a week. Unique political perspectives. We're going to be br- um, doing some other things as we go forward. So uh, hit subscribe, and thank you so much. If you have any questions or comments on my video or you want to um, challenge me, something I said, please put it down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And um, have a great day. Bye-bye.